I know, you know, 135 is maybe a little big for you already, but is a rematch with Teofimo, if you were to get a victory over Josh Taylor, does that interest you? And how do you see that fight? Yeah, playing? of course it's interesting. Of course it's interesting. Now it looks like, it looks like personal. You're asking about what, 40? <laughs> uh, just because it's Teofimo and he fought him before, that's all. ask about if he wants to fight at Canelo? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, you stand on his head. That was kind of crazy. Yeah. But still, uh, you know, you're, you're, going, you're going to the Hall of Fame when you retire. Um, but you were, you were compared to guys like Sugar Ray Leonard and Ali. And Do you feel like to, to truly be great like them, you have to win this fight Saturday? Uh, I don't want to compare this. It's yeah. I don't want to compare myself. But uh, I do all, all my best. I, I just want to bring in the boxing something interesting, something high high level uh, skill. And this is, I think, what I do. I still I think so. Thank you, guys. Hi, thank, thank you. Thank you. What's good, you two? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, what you just heard was the voice of. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, who has 17 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, 5 foot 6 with a 66-inch arm reach. Why is the height and the reach important? Because Vasily Lomachenko, as you heard, should he be victorious in his highly anticipated lightweight undisputed showdown, and his second opportunity to become undisputed against undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar bossa, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 29 wins, no losses, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm reach. Uh, Devin Haney, that is, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, they're going to fight this Saturday, May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, MGM Grand Garden Arena. And Lomachenko was asked, should he be victorious against Devin Haney? Would he look to go to junior welterweight, 140, and challenge the last man to beat him, Was which is former unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, now junior welterweight title contender, Tiafimo Lopez, who is 18 wins, one loss, no draw, 13 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm each. Tiafimo Lopez, he defeated Vasil Lomachenko for Lomachenko's first opportunity at Undisputed. He came up short. And now Tiafimo Lopez, he's going into a massive showdown June 10th, New York, New York, Madison Square Garden against the undefeated, undisputed junior welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Josh Taylor. So with that said, uh, he was asked, would he go up, as you heard, back to 140? Well, would he go up to 140 for a rematch with Tiafimo Lopez should Tiafimo Lopez be victorious? And as you heard, they stated, asking him to go up to 140, why don't they just ask, why don't we just ask him to go ahead and fight four division world champion Mexican superstar Basa, who currently is the undisputed super middleweight world champion in Saul Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is a super middleweight, fights at 168. So the, uh, Vasil Lomachenko and his team Igus Clemens are stating that if you ask him to go to 140, then you may as well go and ask him to fight Canelo Alvarez, which is very, 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 very far-fetched. And the reason I say that is simply because of this. We saw other guys go up to multiple weight classes and challenge the best or just attempt at, uh, take, take attempts at greatness. We saw... Javante Tank Davis, who is always linked to Vasil Lomachenko for quite some time. Javante Tank Davis has been linked to Vasil Lomachenko in the fight for quite some time. Javante Tank Davis is a five-time world champion, three-division world champion, undefeated. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw. He has 27 wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age. More importantly, he's five foot five with a 67-inch arm reach. Canelo Alvarez is 5'8 with a 70-inch arm reach, and he fights at 168. Javante Tank Davis, he moved up to 140, hence the reason he's a three-division champion, and he took on defeated Mario Barrios for the WBA regular title. Mario Barrios, immediately his next fight, moved up to welterweight and challenged the former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One-Tom Thurman, and he never hit the canvas. 
and he put up a tough fight. Tank Davis dropped Mario Barris three times and stopped him in the 11th round. So Tank Davis is actually shorter than uh, Lomachenko, and, he's short, and he has uh, an uh, inch longer arm reach. So they're essentially the same size. They're both southpaws. And then you have another guy who's the exact same size as Lomachenko and uh, Javante Tank Davis, an eight-division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is five foot five with sixty-seven inch arm reach. He started a lower weight class, even more so than Vasil Lomachenko. He started his career at one hundred and eighteen, one hundred and twelve pounds, and he moved all the way up to one fifty-four. So why is it asking Lomachenko to do something unrealistic when he's considered to be one of the greatest boxers in history? Lomachenko has the greatest amateur record in boxing history. Lomachenko is considered the matrix. Okay. He's pegged to be one of the greatest. He was compared to Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, Pernell Whitaker, Muhammad Ali, even the greats of yesteryear. And now to ask Lomachenko to move up to 140 is simply out the question. It's unreasonable. It's considered, we might as well consider him fighting Canelo Alvarez. Which is ironic because people was calling for Manny Pacquiao to fight Canelo Alvarez. And he's the same size as Lomachenko and not as skilled as Lomachenko. He has more power. He's athletic and explosive. But Lomachenko is technically savvy and more of a technician and a, a calculated boxer than Manny Pacquiao. So why can't Lomachenko, since he's considered to be, you know, pound for pound, even though he suffered two losses, where he's placed in, in the minds of the media and the boxing world, why can't Lomachenko move up to 140 and challenge Teofimo Lopez? He's fought guys that were bigger than Josh Taylor in Nakatani and uh, Luke Campbell. Well, they're the same size as Josh Taylor is. So why can't he move up five pounds? Tank Davis did it. Devin Haney's going to do it. Canelo Alvarez moved up from 154 to 175. So why can't Vasil Lomachenko? Because he don't want, and they don't want him to be at a disadvantage. They want him to be in on an equal playing field or at an advantage. Point blank and period. That's where that comes from. Lomachenko is skilled. Skills beat a size and talent, right? His skills should be able, like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is a five-division world champion. He started his career at 130, just uh, just four pounds north of where Lomachenko started his career at 126. So Floyd Mayweather went all the way up to 154. He's only two inches taller. Now he has a four-inch arm reach advantage. Lomachenko has shorter arms. But Floyd Mayweather also has a four-inch arm reach advantage over Manny Pacquiao. So Floyd Mayweather did it. And everybody called for Floyd Mayweather to fight middleweights like Sergio Martinez at one point in time, Canelo Alvarez, right? But when it comes to Lomachenko, to ask him to move up one more pound, one more weight class is absolutely ridiculous of the media and the boxing fans to challenge yourself. Why? Guillermo Rigandiao challenged him, moved up in weight from 118, 122 to challenge him. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. They want Lomachenko to always be in control, always have an advantage or be on an even playing field. Never, never do they want him to be in a position where he has to challenge himself, where he's at a disadvantage. This is the only time outside of the fight with Gary Russell where he was an underdog, this fight with Devin Haney, and they're already saying Devin Haney is a middleweight, a heavyweight, a light heavyweight. Well, that just goes to show you, as I told you guys before, Lomachenko skill set, they like him to be a front runner where he has an advantage with his athletic ability, his skill set, his technical abilities. And he can be considered the matrix point blank and period. So it's not unreasonable to ask Lomachenko to go to 140. It's just not. We see Monster anyway moving up and he's going to challenge Cool Boy Steph right out the gate in his fourth weight class. And he's not a big guy. So why can't Lomachenko do it? Canelo did it. Floyd Mayweather did it. Tank Davis recently did it. So why not the right fight 
with the right challenge. Roy Jones went all the way to heavyweight. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. It's your boy, Blue, signing off. I'm gone. Peace. Hey, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.